Item number, SCP-802. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. A security perimeter must be maintained at a 15-kilometer radius around SCP-802's territory. Due to the large area needed to be covered and the isolated nature of SCP-802's territory, warning signs, fences, automated security systems, and regular patrols should be sufficient to prevent unauthorized intrusion. No fewer than three lines of containment must be maintained within the perimeter at all times. These lines must consist of outer perimeter, basic fences, trenches, and concrete and steel vehicle obstacles, regular patrols with anti-tank weaponry equipped, intermediate perimeter, additional anti-tank trenches and obstacles. Perimeter must also be secured with an unbroken line of anti-tank mines. Inner perimeter. Inner perimeter must be secured with an unbroken line of dragon's teeth anti-tank obstacles constructed out of reinforced concrete. Additional anti-tank mines must be added. Road access to SCP-802's territory is prohibited. The only allowable modes of transportation into the perimeter are either by foot or by air. Under no circumstances are the perimeter defenses to be breached or compromised to allow vehicle access. Only Level 3 personnel or higher are allowed within the perimeter. Any unauthorized access can and will result in immediate termination. Description SCP-802 appears to be a World War II-era Renault Char B-1 medium battle tank. However, unlike regular tanks, SCP-802 is able to operate on its own. It is unknown whether SCP-802 is sapient or possesses any sort of intelligence at all, but it is clear through long-range infrared scans and constant surveillance that SCP-802 has no physical crew manning it. The tank itself, while operational, is in incredibly poor condition. While personnel have been unable to get close enough to properly examine it, it is clear that it is heavily damaged. The top turret is completely missing. Its hull weapon is non-operational, the treads are nearly falling off, and the hull is pitted and worn with age and battle damage. However, it is still capable of operating beyond its projected performance specifications and is able to achieve speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour, as opposed to the documented 28 kilometers per hour. Infrared scans have also shown signs of trace heat around where the engines should be located, which are inconsistent with the heat signatures of a conventional engine, making SCP-802's primary method of propulsion unknown. SCP-802 is also highly resistant to damage, Attempts to destroy it have been met with failure, as SCP-802 can take repeated hits from anti-tank weapons and remain operational. While the damage caused only seems to be cosmetic at best, it can successfully drive SCP-802 away temporarily. SCP-802 patrols an area that is roughly 6 square kilometers in the French countryside, near Data Expunged. Within this territory are mostly urban ruins that are the remains of the town data expunged. Records show that the town was founded in the early 16th century and abandoned in the early 20th century. However, there is no indication of what caused the town's inhabitants to leave. Upon arrival into SCP-802's area of influence, intruders will immediately be shadowed and stalked by SCP-802, which will constantly attack and harass them in any way possible. It is unknown whether SCP-802 has ever left the confines of the ruins. However, it seems to show no interest in attempting to escape and has stayed well within the security perimeters. Oddly, the strangest aspect of SCP-802 is that music seems to emanate from within its hull. The same music can also occasionally be heard echoing throughout the entire containment area at night. Analysis from eyewitnesses and from recordings has shown that SCP-802 tends to play music from the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The sound quality of this music, however, 
is incredibly poor. The music is constantly skipping and stuttering, as if being played on an antique vinyl record player, in poor condition. Over 19 distinct songs have been classified, while there remain a number more that analysts have been unable to identify. It is unknown what exactly causes this phenomenon, but it has been hypothesized that it is a form of psychological warfare meant to unnerve and confuse enemies, though this has not been confirmed. Addendum Due to over 47 casualties since containment, all recon teams are now to consist of D-Class personnel with military backgrounds only. Lesson Complete If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-801 Seven Furs right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.